Google Slides has an app for both iOS and Android devices that allow you to create, edit, and collaborate on Google presentations. You will need to download and install the individual apps from either the iTunes App Store or Google Play Store, depending on your device. You have multiple options at the top of the main menu. This navigation menu will display different viewing options as well as provide you access to your account settings. The view icon allows you to choose your directory as a list or icons. Google Slides displays all of your presentations in the main window. By default, they are organized by those you most recently opened. If you want to change how they are displayed, tap the Sort button. On iOS devices, this will be a button labeled Sort, whereas Android devices have a different icon containing the letters A through Z. You will be able to display your documents by last edited by you, last modified by any collaborator, last opened by you, or by title. If you want to find a presentation more easily, tap the navigation menu in the top left corner of the app. A sidebar menu will open to the left where you can display presentations you have worked with most recently, starred, or those that are shared with you. You can also use the search bar on iOS devices at the top of the window to find the file you are looking for. On Android devices, there's a magnifying glass icon that will activate a search bar. Tapping the menu button next to a file name will allow you to complete multiple actions. You can rename, share and export, make available offline, view details, or remove the document. To view a presentation, simply tap on its name and the document will open. The icons at the top of the window will be different depending on whether you are in view or edit mode. When in view mode, the arrow in the top left corner will take you back to your main slides page. The two curved arrows will allow you to undo or redo your most recent action. The present icon will switch you into presentation mode. The share icon is displayed as a silhouette with a plus sign next to it. Tapping this icon will allow you to share your document or change the privacy settings. The insert icon will allow you to insert text, images, shapes, lines, or tables. The menu icon will allow you to find and replace elements within your document, view the details, share and export, mark for offline use, or star the file as important. To create a new document, tap the red Create icon in the lower right corner of the screen. On iOS devices, you'll be asked to provide a name for your document. When you've entered the name, tap the Create link. On Android devices, you are taken directly to the Compose window. If you want to title your document, simply tap on the title in the top left corner, when in view mode, and you will be allowed to rename the document. An editor window will open where you can begin creating your presentation. Tap a slide to be put into editing mode. The two arrows will allow you to undo or redo any actions you have taken. Tapping the plus sign, which is in the insert menu, will allow you to insert comments, images, or a table. When you tap the formatting icon, you will be able to adjust the font, text style, text size, text color, highlight color, paragraph justification, indentation, list options, line spacing, and shape characteristics. Tapping the icon in the lower right corner of the screen will add a new slide for your presentation. You will then be asked to choose the slide layout in the next window. The menu icon will give you the ability to show speaker notes for your presentation, view details, share and export, mark for offline use, or star the document as important. When you are done editing your presentation, tap the check mark in the top left corner of the editor. To begin editing again on an iOS device, simply tap inside the text window and the editor will open. On Android devices, to begin editing again, tap the pencil icon in the lower right corner of the window. To go back to your main slides page, click the arrow in the top right corner of the window when in view mode 